Yo, this is Willie Grimes and I got a story to tell y'all. It's about a young nine-year-old boy who wanted to grow up to be a rapper. I'm not gonna tell you what his first rap name was, but it was terrible. And he wanted to be like Snoop Dogg so bad that he took gin and juice lyrics and flipped it to make his first song, Apple Juice. <laughs> Such a lame nigga. Anyway, he always wanted to grow up to be a rapper, and that's all he thought about. Writing lyrics during class, after class. He really thought he was going to become something. And then when he went to college, he used to tell people, Hey man, I'm a rapper. Even though he hadn't recorded anything before. And finally somebody believed him. And they let him on some beat. And he did his job, man. He actually spit pretty good. But I tell you, the idea of being a rapper became more and more relevant in his life. And just like many other dreams that he had, that shit ain't come true. Fast forward another 20 years and this nigga's just doing this shit on his day off. It's a hobby. He always dreamed of doing albums. He never said he dreamed of them being in stores or niggas actually listening to him. He just wanted to do albums. And that's exactly what he did. And in the past two years, he's done six of them. Seven if you count this shit. I'm not gonna say whether they good or not. I just know if I was featured more, they probably would've did better. Matter of fact, February makes 30 years since he wrote his first rhyme. Isn't that special? You know what's even crazier? I can't believe that they haven't tracked this dude down for stealing chairs out of the cafeteria at A&T. He used to sell them for $10 a pop. Matter of fact, if you ever looked in your book bag and said, Hey, where's my zoology book? Or, I know I just had my English book over here. That was probably him. He was notoriously sticky fingered because his parents wouldn't send him money. So he would just steal other niggas shit. Hey yo Willie, you recording? What the fuck is you doing man? Hey nigga, I'm in here telling the truth.